वी आर स्टडिंग द फोर्थ वेंट्रिकल द कैविटी ऑफ हाइंड ब्रेन इज कॉल्ड द फोर्थ वेंट्रिकल इट इज़ अ टेंट शेप्ड स्पेस सिचुएटेड बिटवीन द पॉन्स एंड द अपर ओपन पार्ट ऑफ मेडुला ऑब्लंगेटा इन फ्रंट एंड द सेरेबिलम बिहाइंड इट हैज़ द लैटरल बाउंड्रीज फ्लोर रूफ एंड अ कैविटी so the cavity of the fourth ventricle communicates inferiorly with the central canal and superiorly with the cerebral aqueduct this cavity also communicates with the subarachnoid space through the median aperture also known as the foramen of majendi and through the lateral apertures also known as the foramen of lashka now the lateral boundaries of the fourth ventricle on each side the fourth ventricle is bounded inferolaterally by the gracile and the cuneate tubercles and inferior cerebellar peduncles superolaterally by the superior cerebellar peduncles Now coming to the floor, it is also called the rhomboid fossa because of its rhomboidal shape. The floor is formed by the posterior surface of the lower pons, and the posterior surface of the open or the upper part of medulla oblongata. now the parts of this fossa it is divisible into an upper triangular part which is formed by the dorsal surface of the pons and a lower triangular part formed by the dorsal surface of medulla the intermediate part is at the junction of pons and medulla the intermediate part is prolonged laterally over the inferior cerebellar peduncle as the floor of lateral recess this part is marked by tra traversely running fibers which are fibers of stria medullaris so these fibers which are running transversely represent the fibers from arcuate nucleus to the opposite cerebellum now the common features of the floor the dorsal median sulcus divides the floor into two symmetrical halves the medial eminence one on each side of the median sulcus the eminence is wider above and narrow below it presents a facial colliculus just opposite and medial to a depression called superior fovea deep to the colliculus is the abducens nucleus around which the facial nerve forms a loop hypoglossal triangle occupies the lower narrow part of the eminence beneath this triangle lies the hypoglossal nucleus sulcus limits the medial eminence on the lateral side in the uppermost part the sulcus limitans overlies an area that is bluish in color and is called the locus ceruleus the color is due to the presence of pigmented neurons which constitute the substantia ferruginea now in the medullary part of the floor the sulcus limitans is marked by a depression the inferior fovea descending from the fovea there is a sulcus that runs obliquely towards the midline this sulcus divides the medial eminence into two triangles these are the hypoglossal triangle medially and a vagal triangle laterally 
these overlie the hypoglossal nerve nucleus and of the vagus nerve respectively now between the vagal triangle above and gracile tubercle below there is a small area called the area posterima which may function as the chemoreceptor the vestibular area lies lateral to the inferior fovea which overlies the vestibular nuclei this area is partly in pons and partly in the medulla the apex of this rhomboid fossa is called as the obex or calamus scriptorius it is called so because it looks like the tip of a nib now the roof of this floor roof of this fossa is formed by the superior cerebellar peduncles and the superior medullary velum